Welcome to Winning Wall Street's Money. Please take this moment now with helping me. Click here, subscribe. Next, click this bill. Next, ensure to click all. This helps you receive a notification when I post my next videos. Next, click this thumbs up button. After every time you watch my video, this pushes it up in the engagement ratings and means it will be suggested to more people, therefore it's likely to get more views to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate that. I also have a Patreon page. Click show more. Scroll down. This link here, my Patreon, click on it. Select a membership. With this membership, you'll get access to all this information. Very good content. Friday, July 16th, 0801 AM, New York time. Lots of activity happened this week on binary events. Federal Reserve came out and spoke, which is the Central Bank of the United States, to the House Committee about the current situation. The big word was inflation and how they are dealing with that. They have the power to adjust short-term interest rates. Let's first look at the charts on the equity indexes, see what the performance is this week, if we're trending, if we're in acceleration. So each candle's a week. Today's Friday, last trading day of the week. We've got the S&P 500 for the week, made a higher high and a higher low. The trend is to the upside. It's a small trading range. That's very suspicious. It has not closed yet. That won't be completed until 4.30 p.m. NASDAQ 100, same thing, higher high, higher low. So far, it's red since week. Dow Jones Industrial Average is almost near the all-time high, but did not make all-time high. Also higher, high, higher, low, small trading range, small candle when I say small trading range. So you see any singles there? See something? Got it. Russell 2000, small cap company, sold off this week, lower, low, lower, high, huge trading range. Huge. Dow Transport, inside candle for the week. Hmm, if it closes like that, that's a clue that there's going to be there's a, going to be a breakout and a new trend one way or the other. Again, but it's not done yet. So just giving you awareness what may happen. In the Dow utilities, higher high, higher low broke above the consolidation. Why does that happen? Because the Dow utilities is heavily weighted in dividend stocks. Dividend stocks is 2021. What kind of boomers still buy stocks that pay dividends? Well, institutional investors, when they think growth stocks are going to be slowing down and won't be the winner's leadership, they want to still earn income. So they'll go to utility stocks that pay high dividends. Well, why aren't they going to bonds? Well, if the bonds, the notes have lower interest rates, then they collect less on that. There's risk, Bob, in both things, sure. You could buy these utility stocks and they could go lower, but if they still pay a high dividend. Well, some people would say buy and hold for long term. That's not the smartest investment. There's better ones than that. But again, you see what's going on here? Yeah. Again, this could be short term. Okay. Let's go look at those yields. Yields is like another word for, or is another word for interest rates. Yields and bonds, yields and notes trade inverse. When yields go lower, the bonds and notes go higher. Let's look at the 30 year yield. For the week, made a higher high, higher low, but it's trading back inside the prior week. Excuse me. <laughs> I apologize. This is a consolidation building, but look at that. From the high of the year to there, interest rates have been declining again, being kept low. On the 10 year, same thing. Same pattern, but now we go to the five-year yield, much faster reaction. It's more of acceleration and holding up here. Again, most of your auto loans, financial loans with home loans are geared more to these higher yields. Worst credit cards, if you look at the policies, some of them 
are adjusting more to the shorter term. You should know that information if you take out loans or borrow money, what that yield is related to. It's free information. If you're going to borrow from someone, they don't show you that in writing with an agreement, <laughs> run far. And they don't know it themselves, fire them. I approve of that message. The 30 year bond. Yep. Inside candle for the week. But look at this oscillation, breakout, oscillation, breakout. Same thing, just like the utilities. Mm. And the 10 year. Not as well defined as the 30 year and the five year. Look at that more chop. Got it. So again, I mentioned the yields, the dividend stocks. When people manage your money, they have less skin in the game. Well, money's not leaving Wall Street. Money is rotating from one sector, one industry to other sector industries. Let's look at the 11 sectors in the S&P 500. Yep, the S&P 500 has 11 sectors. And let's see where the current leadership is. XLK, all-time high, all-time high. Well, that's a suspicious right now, that kind of candle. That means it opened and closed so far. So far, it's not done yet till the end of the day at the same price, but it's white like that. Hmm. Is that getting ready to sell off? I will not be buying at the highs. XLV, also all-time new high. XOF, it's an acceleration off the all-time highs. Yep, XOF, the financial banks. I mentioned that, I shared past videos, the past few weeks. You can look at those on my playlist on this YouTube channel to understand what's been happening with the banks, what's been under distribution, what does distribution means? It means smart money, institution money selling. XLY, all-time new high. XLC, all-time new high. XLI, nope, it's an acceleration. XLP, look at that momentum to the upside, gunning to retest this high. Let's see if it makes it there during the summer. That would be interesting. Yep, possibility. It's consumer staples. Is that a shift? Is that considered a defensive stock? Well, it's definitely not as much as a technology stock. So institution money has already been rotating here for the past weeks. XLE, down hard. Yeah, there was all time highs several weeks ago since then been declining. XLU, the utility sector. Yep, just like the utility index I showed you. Yep, interesting. Way off the highs of the year, but again, rotating, shifting the power of money. XLRE, all-time high. The real estate sector, all-time high. How long was that going to last for? XLB, nope. It's in this type of solution. So there you have it. Lots of them are at all-time high. We're in July in the United States. As other countries, you have a summer. Gas is typically higher in the summer. More people are traveling typically in the summer. Schools are out. Typically have a stock market that does not go as high as it does other times of the year and sometimes has a declining. So be aware of that. It could be happening this month, next month. But what do we have all time high now? Many, many of them are, what do you say? There's less money going into fewer stocks. That's dangerous. Less money going to fewer stocks. See, a lot of them are not hitting all-time highs. So let's go look at what's referred to as the FANG stocks, the FANG, FANG Plus, the most popular stocks. Let's see if they're hitting the all-time high. Apple, all-time high. Microsoft, all-time high. Amazon, all-time high. Facebook, last week was all-time high. Google, all-time high. Tesla, way off the all-time high. November, Victor Delta Alpha, last week was all-time high. Solo hard, semiconductor. Netflix, it's not at all-time high. That's up there. 
Look at that. Broke out of consolidation, gunning higher. And Bravo Alpha, Bravo Alpha, Alibaba. No, it's not at all-time high. Here's the all-time high for the year. Here's from last year. It's declining. These stocks, a lot of trading activities going on, and most of them are at or near their all-time highs. But majority of stocks on the S&P 500 are not at all-time highs. Again, hopefully you understand that. Less stocks are making all-time highs. Something has to give one time or another. And that shift is in sectors to different industries. Trade smart. Do your own research. Thank you, as always, for spending just a little bit of your time with me. Let me know what you thought about this video. And please let me know what you want to see next. If you got value from this video, if this was helpful, then please consider sharing a small monetary donation to my channel by going below and clicking on my PayPal link. You can leave a small tip. If you don't want to share financial support, no problem. Just click the like and subscribe.